Hi guys! So, in honor of Chinese New Year, I thought I'd do a little something special. A lot of you guys might not know that I am actually part Chinese. I am a quarter Chinese because my mom, Mama Starling here, is actually half Chinese. So, we've always loosely celebrated Chinese New Year and our Chinese culture and heritage. Unfortunately, I know very, very basic Chinese, really not enough to get by or do anything other than ask someone if they want to eat. Um, but, because eating is the most important thing for me, I figured we might as well celebrate Chinese New Year by learning a traditional Chinese dish that my mom learned from her mom and I will now learn from her. So, okay. you're gonna teach me how to make um, shrimp glass noodle casserole, right? Gum op bun sen. Gum op bun sen. ใน t านะตอนนี้นะคะเป็นตุ๋นจีนหมายคนอาจจะไม่รู้ว่าเทยจริงๆแล้วมีเชื้อจีนนะคะเทยเป็นลูกของคนที่เป็นลูกครึ่งไทยจีนเป็นแต้จิ๋วนะคะเทยมีอาม่ามีเหล่ามากเพราะฉะนั้นตุ๋นจีนปีนี้เทยอยากจะหวังด้วยการทํากับข้าวกับคุณแม่เพราะว่าอาม่ามาบ้านเทยไม่ไหวขึ้นบันไดไม่ได้แต่ว่าอาม่าสอนเคล็ดลับการทําจานนี้ให้กับคุณแม่วันนี้คุณแม่ก็จะมาสอนให้เทยทําต่อยอมไหมพร้อมกุ้งอบบนเส้นกุ้งอบบนเส้นโอเคง่ายมากเรามีอะไรบ้างแม่เล่าให้ฟังหน่อย What do we have here เราทําผักเอาผักที่ในแคสโซที่จะเราจะไปอยู่บนเตาลองด้วยผักก่อนผักแล้วถึงเบเกนแล้วถึงจะกุ้งชิมและเดนเดอะกราสนูดอลก่อนทำประเด็นคือ that the vegetable doesn't have to put the sauce in ไม่ต้องมีซอสสำหรับผัก Mm-hmm. แต่ว่าชิมกับกราสนูโดนี่ซอสแต่เราทำซอสที่หลังเรียงผักก่อนโอเคทุกคนไม่ต้องห่วงนะคะเพราะว่าบ้านเทียจะเป็นอย่างเงี้ยค่ะจะกลับไปกลับมาภาษาอังกฤษภาษาไทยไม่ต้องงงซอสกับชิมนะคะแต่ว่าผักก็ไม่ต้องงงนิดนึงไหมงงไหมเดี๋ยวนะโอเคโอเคอังกฤษ let's just go with so we've got different kinds of vegetables what kind of vegetables do we have first of all this is what this is cilantro right We've got napa, napa, cabbage. I've got cow. Lettuce, napa lettuce, napa cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage. I've got cow. Um, and then we have Chinese parsley, kun thai, right? And then we've got garlic, gatiam, gatiam. Um, king. We have ginger. Ginger. King. What is this? No, that's a ginger. Oh, that's just a ginger. Part. Small ginger. Okay. Um, we also have the shrimp, which is kung. We have bacon, which is also bacon. bacon. <laughs> bacon, bacon, um, and then we have the glass noodle, which is wunsen. Mm. And then here for the sauce, we've got oyster sauce. 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 Oyster sauce broth or like stock cubes, like kna, stock cubes, like you know, mm-hmm. um, to make bouillon, bouillon cubes. Um, and then we have kna. And this is the thing that we have to use. It's easy to make. It's easy to make. Let's try it. Okay. 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 The ginger, right? So this is gonna go on a layer at the bottom. You said, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Try. Okay. Okay. That's good. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. What do I do with uh, um, the veg? The veg. Remember, I need to cut the green tai gan. The gan is not missing. Okay. So what I like about Asian cooking is we typically don't waste anything. Like here, we're gonna use the stems. Of the Chinese parsley, I'm just gonna chop this in half. Go on, go on. Sorry, I'm just sprinkle it at the bottom of the casserole dish. Mm-hmm. The one layer. Okay. 
uh, got cow, not but cabbage. And then the cabbage. Do so I need to cut it? Yep, yeah, cut it. Cut a big, big piece. Just to cut it. Like yeah. that. Yep. That you were trying not to lie. I'll chop up a bone. Bone can. So we're gonna use more of the bottom part where it's thicker. I think maybe it should be enough. It should be enough. Is that good? Yes. Okay. That's good. What's next? Okay. Um, before we go on, maybe just do the bacon around. Okay. I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll bacon sign it. So this is just bacon that's been sliced into like what two inches, two mm -hmm. inch pieces, and we're just gonna line the sides mm -hmm. of the casserole dish with bacon. I'd like to line everything in my life with bacon, possible. And all of this, as with all good cooking, is completely like according to taste. You know, it's you want to use a lot of bacon, you want to use a little. I like a lot of bacon. Okay, thank you. Thank Putting you. the ginger down as a layer, mm -hmm. the bottom on top of the cabbage. Mm -hmm. And then what? And then more of the... And then more bacon? Bacon. I'll use it all. I think we have enough. Yeah. Use it all. And then bacon layer on top of the ginger. You can put the... The tea the... The garlic, just put it all in. Yeah. Put, put the... Put, put the... Just lay it. Yeah. So now we have a layer of bacon and putting the garlic in a hole. Just a hole. Okay. So we've got like we got bake it. Like eight cloves of garlic or so. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Just putting it all in on top. Okay. And lay the shrimp. And we've got oh, our layer. Shrimp. Okay. Oh, we forgot one thing. The the yeah. La capchi. So la capchi adds like a nice aromatic to this. So this is why I said the cilantro earlier. We're actually just going to use the the root root slap okay. root. Okay. So we need to cut the roots further. So just pull just the roots going in. Like that. Okay. And then now we're ready to make our sauce, right? So this is your base. You got all your veg, your aromatic. That's gonna go to the side first while we make our sauce. Well, I, I like to cook in a little bit before. So it'll be underneath that the extra shrimp. Touch. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So now we can make the sauce. Yep. Not okay. So now we make the sauce. All right. So. We've got, like I said, the bouillon cube. We're going to have a little bit of 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 a little bit so two tablespoons of sugar. Just go on in here. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in. Um, one one tablespoon of the of the light soy sauce. Of of light soy sauce. Okay, two tablespoons of that oyster sauce. Okay. Oyster sauce. We're gonna need two tablespoons of oyster sauce. I got a feeling I might have lit the very few. Siu dam. Siu leave the two. What tablespoon in Thai? Chon to. Chon to. Chon cha. Chon to. Teaspoon, teaspoon. So literal translation. Okay. So, in a half. Song chon to. Now, my to. Song chon cha. The black soy sauce. Siu dam. 
สีดำใส่แค่พอเป็นสีสีเท่านั้นเอง So you don't need a lot of. So maybe just put one first. Okay. So you don't need a lot of the black soy sauce, like the dark, thicker soy sauce, because you're really just using it for a little bit of color and um, and flavor, and it's pretty sweet. Okay. Now we have a thing which is called cha na ka. Yeah, I love the smell of sesame oil, so I love anything that has. It. This one here can be whole, but I don't know how to take that thing out. Oh. Okay, so then black pepper, right? And you want whole black pepper corn. So what, like? Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know, not a pinch, but like a handful, mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay, and that's it, right? Mix them. Okay. Just gonna mash up the uh, bouillon cubes. That's good. And then you know, just put it on the side in this room. Just just kind of coat it real quick. Okay, don't have to. So we're just dipping it real fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. ก็คือไม่ได้แช่แต่ว่าเหมือนซิมนิดนึงใช่ป่ะอืมซิมแบบไวไว Okay. We like to leave the shrimp heads on because in my family, the ladies in my family like to suck on the shrimp heads. And personally, I don't eat the shrimp heads, but I do find that when you cook with them, there's like an added sweetness, which is why people usually like sucking on shrimp heads. It's the sweetness that comes in it. So we leave the heads on. That's totally optional. คนไทยส่วนใหญ่แล้วนะคะชอบผัวกุ้งเนาะฝรั่งไม่ชอบหวานเมื่อกี้ก็เลยบอกว่าถ้าใครอยากจะทำแล้วก็ตัดผัวกุ้งออกก็ทำได้แต่เทียนะนำว่าเก็บไว้ดีกว่าเนาะอร่อยกว่ามันเปิดมันไม่หวานโอเคอันนี้เราแค่จิ้มไว้ so just quick dip and then put it add a layer on and then layer we have what like nine or ten shrimp here but you know whatever it fit how it would fit so just quick you got the lights on in the afternoon and the nights are drawn out long And you kiss him to cut through the gloom with a cough drop colored tongue. Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job. All the shrimp are in there. Need a hot bowl. Finish hot. And now the noodles. Okay, but before you do it, cut it. Right. But first, I have to let people know if you've never worked with glass noodles before, what you want to do is open the packet, fill up a bowl with distilled water, you know, drinking water. Um, and then submerge the noodles for a few minutes till they get soft. Because if not, there's you know you can't just cook with it. You have but you have to soften it first. So I need to have a lot of time now. I'm gonna boil it. I'll go. The hot, it's more like thin, yellow, and then we have to cut it. So it's super long and unruly. So what you want to do is cut it, cut it in half. Go in there anyway. Yeah. That's all the noodle. Okay. Now you're just gonna stir it. See how she tried to be sneaky there and like do a step that she didn't mention out loud or tell me or tell you. So apparently you want to crack a little black pepper over the shrimp. Flavorful. Do, do, man, I'm not going to eat it. Okay. Okay. Let's cut it up, you know, make sure to mix it all. And then just go on top. Okay, and this is the last step. It's almost the last step that we're going to put in the middle of the pepper. Because it is the middle of the pepper. Because it is shrimp glass noodle casserole, you gotta add the glass noodle on top of the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Go. You can press it down because all the vegetables, vegetables out there are at the bottom, bottom, right? So you have more room for the glass noodle on the top. Just perfect. Okay. 
So there is the glass noodles. Which I'm going to shove into here. And then some cilantro leaves on top. Okay. You can cut it, you can just sprinkle it's it. Chinese parsley, though. Not cilantro. Okay, so mm -hmm. some Chinese parsley on top. No. And then leave some fresh ones later. Right, for later. Course, so. That's it, right? Mm. Okay, so now we're gonna close it up. Yep. And uh, Okay. And there are two ways to cook this. You can either put this in the oven um, at 350 for like 10 minutes or so, because essentially the only thing that really needs to cook True. is the shrimp, and shrimp cooks really fast anyway. Um, your other option, which is what we're gonna do, is you can cook it on the stove for like 10 minutes. And as long as you have a dish that can go on the stove, um, that's, I think, an easier option because you don't have to wait for like your oven to heat up and all of that stuff, so. So while we're waiting for that to cook, let's do a little talking. About 10 minutes and we'll be done. Yeah, super quick. So we'll do a ปุ้งกับบุ้งเส้นทุกอย่างสุกนะคะประมาณ <coughs> <laughs> so, it's a good thing we didn't pick up on all of the Chinese traditions because I just asked Mama Starling um, for my angbao, which is the little red envelopes full of cash that typically you get for on Chinese New Year, well, kids get. So I've always gotten one and I just asked her when I'm gonna get my angbao. And she said, traditionally, Married women no longer receive angbaos, but give angbaos. So I'm at the age now, apparently, where I'm supposed to give her angbaos. But we're not really that Chinese, so you know, it's okay. Half, half, you're, you're half Chinese. Oh, oh, I'm I'll only have. a quarter. All I know is Jia Blue. Get away. What's that? Jin Katong. Jin Katong. Oh, oh, oh. What's oh? No, I'm, oh yeah, oh, okay, I know. And I don't remember how do you say to kind of take a bath. I basically only know whatever Chinese I needed to tell my great grandmother, my alama, like time to do things. Mm -hmm. What was take a bath? Just yeah. That's all I know. Lukani, Lukani, when the alama is at home, 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 when Mm. Who is she right now? <laughs> okay, like that. but part of what I love about Chinese New Year is one, unlike Western New Year's, it's not like, oh, here's one day, one big party and we're done. It's like, oh, seven days of party, you know? Um, so there's always like, we do the abbreviated version. We don't do all seven days, but we always did one day of cleaning the house, cleaning house. right? And then we did one day of going out, we go out, you go out, you go shopping, you're like socializing, and then there's always one day that's like the family dinner where the red envelopes get handed out, right? Mm -hmm. So and then those are fun. the three that we do. And it's always super fun, a lot of dim sum, a lot of dumpling, a lot of like food, really good food, um, which is for me the, my favorite part. But um, this year, I'll probably be doing the cleaning <laughs> if you want to come over. 
And then, um, yeah, we'll probably take my ama, my grandmother, out for some food. And yeah. And Taya is gonna take big envelopes, ang pao envelopes, to grandma and me. Yes. Thank uh -huh. you very yeah, much. You're very welcome. <laughs> you're very welcome. Ang pao the Taya pini, the pin song ti na ama. Bye bye, ama. Lako pa ni me. Can't wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's about what Lao Comedy Jean Tag can not not hear got a look look Thai American Jean Pashanan Haya me so I can in Swan Sea, he been quan Jean Gabap. Maybe maybe Chalo to Jean don't bap when put you Kauku, okay, one tea lock by what Jean Lako Lako me one tea lock, hung out that barn. One tea, one king cow, hey, I'm bowling ya. The while I got can enough to pay me my love, but long many ham hung said one. แต่ชอบตุ๊กจีนเพราะว่าได้กินอะไรแบบอร่อยๆทุกวันของกินเยอะมากได้ไปหามาได้ไปหามาได้ไปไหว้อามาพูดถึงการกินอันนี้เรามันเป็นเรื่องนะการกินได้ยังยังยังยังแบบ three more minutes it's been ten minutes and it smells amazing หอมมากเลยตอนนี้ ready Top it with a little bit of the fresh parsley and cilantro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit on top. Fresh color and Just purely one, for aesthetics. In the hot cat, pussy, let quam. Soy ngam. 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 Soy Look how pretty that is. Make mm -hmm. it That looks amazing. That's it. Ready to serve. And that's it. Look at that shrimp. Your head's fall right off. Thank you. 